Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, a.k.a. Red Dude. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock out round number four. You know what you're thinking? Kelly, that's what you wore in your last video. Yeah, because I'm recording these like 15 minutes apart. <laughs> oh, well. Got to get them in. Bless you, Bonnie. Got to get them in when you can. So, y'all know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and get to it. Wonderful little nose on that one. Not much on that one. I need to trim my nose, my mustache. I almost said nose hair. Not much on that one either. I guess we're going to start on the left hand side. So. Cheers. Well, it tastes like a Glen Orangey. Might be the Glen Orangey 10. That one might be another balcony. Maybe the only got two left. And it doesn't surprise me that two got mixed in together because I have four Johnny Walkers, four Balvenies, four Glen Fedics, and three Glen Morangies. So something's going to be bound to hit up next to each other from the same family. That might be that. No, it's. I don't know. So far, I like that one the best. I'm not gonna make a guess on it because it's. I want. I want to call it the Glen Levitt Nadura because I get a little bit of peat smoke on it. But that thing's bottled at cast strength, and that had no heat, no spice, no nothing. Try this one. I mean, that one's really, really good. I don't have any more left in my glass. got this weird soapy finish soapy waxy finish that I'm not a fan of might be a good aesthetic mm -hmm. <clears throat> down the hatch
Yeah. I like that one the best. It's got this. It's got peat smoke, but it's got this creamy vanilla finish to it. And it's just, it's like, I mean, it's almost like, I can't even, it's, I can't even think of what it, what it reminds me of. Oh, well. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it that, first, second, third. Third place, we have. Glenfiddich 14, this is the Bourbon Barrel Reserve. I get it now. Yep. Second place, we have Glenfiddich 15. <laughs> That's two, two videos in a row, but it's, it's bound to happen. Glenfiddich 15, that's the Solera cask reserve. So, and in first place, we have Johnny Walker Platinum. <laughs> hey, that's some good juice. That's all I got to say about it. So, Johnny Walker Platinum wins over Glenfiddich 15 and 14 in this blind tasting today. So, hey, blinds don't lie. Anyway, don't forget to check out the Beardy Days podcast. I have links in my homepage on the header. I also have links in the description, the Google document with all of the updates and all of the scores and numbers and whatnot. I might have to go back and re-review this Johnny Dub, J-Dub Platinum. So maybe I'll do a uh, one-off review at the end if it wins. So stay tuned. Uh, but like always, folks, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. And have a nice day. Thanks for watching.